Hi everybody, welcome back to the Loading Checkpoint. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be playing a game called Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Um, Sir, You Are Being Hunted is a game that um, was... It, it came on my radar, it was probably about a year and a half ago now, I just found this uh, indie game blog that was uh, dedicated to, uh, you know, talking about the development of this game and how they were getting things started and then about a year ago or so they actually launched a Kickstarter campaign and they were able to get the game backed completely and now it's it's out on Steam uh, for everybody to um, to play and it's been a game who, that's been sitting in my library for quite some time that I have not yet actually devoted any time to. Um, so let's just get into the game. Um, I haven't really I don't really know much about the menu options because uh, I haven't actually played it that much or at all, actually. Uh, so let's let's just get into it. Um, I guess I'll just start a new game. Okay. Uh, choose your profession. You can choose from several different professions. Each one starts with different equipment. Click the button below to select your role. So you can be the aristocrat, who's default, the honorable choice. Good show. Good show. Uh, regs for bandages is what you get for starting equipment. The gamekeeper, which makes it easy at home in the countryside, smells like badger. Uh, you could be the inventor, a boffin bristling with gadgetry, which is medium difficulty, I guess. The officer, easy, so shoot first to nick their country. So you get a revolver and a rifle, as well as ammunition for both. Uh, the cook, at least you won't starve. There's a whole bunch of food, I guess, and a way to cook food. The artist, but can hunting game be art? Uh, the old soak, you're my best mate, you are. Uh, lots of alcohol, lots of tobacco. <laughs> or the aristocrat. Um, well, I'd feel bad doing picking one of the easy ones, so let's just go with the aristocrat for regs for bandages, uh, and we'll see how things go. Um, yeah. Center Island is rural, and then we have industrial fens, industrial fens, and also we have rural mountain fens. Uh, so let's make one of them a mountain. I don't know, North Island. I don't understand what like any of this is. So uh, there's four of them. Let's uh, have another rural one. Why not? Okay. Uh, yeah, five islands on the archipelago. Biome type. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Build. Okay. So the the concept of Sir, you are being hunted is that you are an English gentleman or lady, as it may be, because the game can actually be played as Madam, you are being hunted. Um, but you are uh, you're you're being hunted by robots. Um, the, uh, the the game developers call their game Tweed Punk. Uh, which I guess is sort of a combination of steampunk and uh, Victorian sensibilities, I guess? So yeah, um, I don't know much more about the game. I think there, I think there is a way to escape, there is a way to win. But for the most part, the game is going to be played where you just need to be stealthy, you need to avoid the, uh, the robots, and you need to be able to sneak around the islands and find a way to get to, uh, get, get to a way off the, uh, off of the archipelago, I guess. All that we really know is that the North Island is mountains, the South Island is, I think, rural. Uh, one of them is uh, a bunch of fens, and the other one is an industrial place. I don't know what any of that means. I, I assume it's just going to be different landscapes, but uh, I guess we'll we'll find out. Yeah, this game is procedurally generated, so every time you start the map, even though you set the different biomes, it creates completely new areas every time. Um, I'm I'm excited to see what the game actually looks like and how it plays. I'm expecting it to be very intense in that there's going to be lots of stealth involved. Um, so hopefully it makes for an entertaining, uh, entertaining video to watch. But I guess we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I think that it's just about done generating the world. So uh, brace yourselves. Here we go. Sir, if you can hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. With them, and some luck, you may still be able to escape. 
Listen very carefully, and you might just survive. Okay. I'm afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. They became quite hmm. hot during the experiment. So perhaps you could look for the smoke. Hmm, Bring any you find back to the stunning stones. Then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but this does mean postponing dinner preparations. <laughs> I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? Moldy bread. The residents won't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. <laughs> they're all dead, aren't oh, they? Do be careful, sir. You're being hunted. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that's um, I guess that's the sort of description for how the game is going to start. Um, hiding. Handy survival guide. Run. Use long grass to hide your position. Robots will search around the last place they saw you, so keep moving. Seems easy enough. All right. Uh, okay. Examine this with the F key. I'm in a big field. There's some houses over there, some houses over there. Okay, well, let's go and check out this stuff. So these are these standing stones they were talking about. F. Looting an enemy. You can find useful items on many objects in the world. Fallen robots like this chap often carry loot, but you will also find things hidden in the doors of buildings, sheds, or even at the bottom of dustbins. A hand icon will appear when you mouse over a potential loot source or usable object. Note, you can store items inside any source with a green background. They will still be there when you come back. You cannot stash loot in a red background object like this chap's pockets. Uh, oh, yeah, binoculars. Those will ah, come in handy. I'm very sure. useful. Empty bottle. Now oh. you can observe your pursuers while keeping yeah, a safe distance. Food. Uh, empty bottle. I don't. Maybe I can throw that for a uh, distraction. Okay. All right. Let's... It's a. It's a wisp. Uh, so I don't know. It, what, what, what would be? I don't know what the the. <laughs> I don't know what the hotkey is to bring up my binoculars. I suppose I should check that. Okay, inventory. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. So I have to tell it what slot I want it to be in. So let's put it in slot one. Oh, and then you left click to use it. Okay, cool. All right, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. The mystery of the stone circle. These are the standing stones. Return the mysterious fragments of the device to the central stone and leave them here. You can also save your progress at the stone. Apart from boats, it's the only place you, place you can do so. Remember to hit the save progress button every time you're here. Note, you cannot save while bleeding or starving. Good to know. Let's save. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, what's this thing over here? I'm very paranoid. I'm worried that there's going to be a bunch of stuff just jumping out at me. There's all these wisps around, too. That's very interesting. Okay. Excellent. You've found one. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. Cool. Okay. Gadzooks, a fragment. These mysterious fragments are your key to escape from the archipelago. When you find one, return it to the standing stones marked on your compass with a circle and deposit it at the central stone. You can see how many fragments remain on each island in the inventory window. Okay. So, oh god, it's huge. Okay. Uh, I guess that's why you're supposed to come and drop them off, or at least that helps. And then I assume it goes... I'm putting the kettle on now, sir. We'll have you home in no time. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Oh, so there's one. Oh, jeez. That's going to take forever. <laughs> I'm assuming that this little blue glowing part is how the progress bars are a thing. So I have one slot out of the whole circle. That's going to take a long time. Okay. Um, now that we've looked at all this stuff. Oh, that's a, that's a balloon. Um, what? 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 What are you? Okay. Um... I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Shift to, uh, to sprint. Okay. That's disconcerting. So if I left alt... Hey, that's, that's pretty sweet. I can look around. Sort of like Arma. Alright. Okay, so... One thing I do know about this game is that they uh, randomly generated all of the town names. Uh, with some help from uh, the people who backed it on Kickstarter. Uh, so, welcome to Diddle Clubbin, 
D a diddle clubbin welcomes you. So this town is called Diddle Clubbin. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, keep an eye on that balloon, but I can go over it here. It looks like there's something useful in there. Oh, jeez. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Dubious. Rotting roast beef. All right, well, I guess I better take some of this. That's gonna... Ugh. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough of that. Okay. Where'd that balloon go? I can lean. Oh, you can't move when you're leaning. It's good to know. Okay. I'm just gonna keep exploring this place. What's in here? Junk. Junk. These are all dubious. Oh, wait. Well cured ham. Usable. All right. I'll take that. Uh, let's, no, this is all dubious stuff. I don't. Oh wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, yeah, white mushrooms, dubious. Okay, it's getting. Does the sun actually set? Oh man, I didn't realize that it had a day-night cycle. Uh, I have an alarm clock. That's good. It's a whole bunch of junk. Good in there. Warple and Tat, Tweed Wholesalers. Exotic spices. A pipe and tobacco. Sure, I'm an English gentleman, why not? Revolver ammo with six rounds. I'll definitely take that. Hopefully I can actually find a revolver at some point. I search that one. I think I've just searched that one, I think. Okay. Good. Boop. Flask of lukewarm tea. Again. English gentleman, so tea and tobacco. And then I have a big trap. That's interesting. Okay, so I think I think we've exhausted diddle clubbin. What is this? Noble infantry of the monocle conflict. Just a whole bunch of oh, these might have been like their uh, beta testers. That's very entertaining though. Oh god, it's coming this way. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh god. Uh. Uh, there's robots over there. Okay, okay, all right. Um, let's go the other way. Balloon's coming this way. Oh shit, 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 shit. It's gotta move, gotta move. I don't want to be discovered. I don't even have any weapons to deal with them yet. I did see there was a building over here, however. Head in the middle of nowhere. Skull. Blackberries. Alright, well, that's something. Got some food. So I think if you look at the bottom left corner. Oh god, it's dark. If you look in the bottom left corner, um, it has my visibility meter, which is good. But then it also has my health and my vitality. And I think if my vitality dips below a certain amount, uh, my health starts to deplete. Oh, that balloon's still around. No, go away. So, you uh, you replenish your vitality by eating food, if I remember correctly. That's very dark. I, uh, I apologize. Uh, graphics options. Uh, brightness. Increase the brightness a little bit. Alright. Okay. That helps. It's nighttime, but we can still see what we're doing. Explore. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, hello. Villains on the horizon. Will our intrepid aristocrat remain undetected or come face to face with his own mortality? Tune in next episode to find out in part two of Sir, You Are Being Hunted. There are two of them here. Uh oh. This might, this might have been a terrible decision. Oh, they see me! Oh, God! <laughs>